So 12 months ago, I did a video where I moved Pep Guardiola to a non-league club, and you guys loved it. It was really fun to see how he got on, to see how he climbed up the leagues before buggering off to Cardiff. This year, we're doing it again, but with a little bit of a twist. This is Pep Guardiola trapped at a non-league club for 25 years. Let's see how he gets on. Okay guys, so here we are back in FM21 and I didn't think I'd see the day that Pep Guardiola was back at Boston United for a second year in game. But here he is and of course right now we are doing a Boston United Let's Play on YouTube. So if you want to compare me to Pep, you can do that this year. Uh, that is Park to Prem. Link, link to the series playlist down below if you're curious. But here is Pep Guardiola. Um... I'm going to be honest, I don't know why I did it. I've made it so that he's joining Manchester United. Um, the way that we lock managers or players in with these kind of videos is to set a future transfer way in the distance. I have set it up so that Pep Guardiola, aged 75, will go to Manchester United and go and be a scout. Uh, he's on £20 a week, which, I mean, he's absolutely adoring. He has got a little promotional wage rise. So there's an incentive here for Pep to go up. He gets a £5 bonus per week if he does that. So Pep, that, there's your, there is your incentive, my friend. Of course, just taking a quick look at Pep in-game, you can see here uh, he has a fair few traits in terms of preferences. He likes a substitute keeper, fits players into tactics, uh, uses offside trap. I don't know how some of these are going to work with lower league players. Likes to work the ball out the box, play out of defence, intense pressing. Some of these are definitely things which... I'm not entirely sure we're going to work in the match engine with players who aren't Manchester City players. In terms of the team that Pep's managing, of course, Boston United, predicted to finish third in their first season. The Vanarama National League, kind of north and south, are quite competitive. 16 playoffs, one automatic promotion spot as well. And uh, last year, Boston lost in the playoff final. So they are looking for Pep to take them one step further. They're not going to have a whole lot of money to spend in the first season, so it's going to be interesting to see what Pep does with the team, how they line up. And well, let's not delay any longer, shall we? Let's go forward in time. Pep, what are you going to achieve in Season 1? Are you going to inspire a promotion? Let's go find out, shall we? Okay, so it's the summer of 2021, and I've got to hold up my hands and admit, this is the first experiment ever that has been impacted by a pandemic, because... Boston have made it to the playoff final, but with how the auto saves and such a setup, they've not played the playoff final yet. So we're going to have to go forward once more in a second to the end of next season to see how they did. I mean, the, the suspense is killing me. Uh, the way that I do these experiments is I holiday forward a yearly auto saves on. Didn't think about the fact that there's been a pandemic and the playoff is played a little bit later. But Pep's done okay, I suppose. They finished fourth in the actual league season and they're taking on Kidderminster in the playoff final. You can see York win the league. Boston United, who is their star player? Who is their star man that Pep's been getting the most out of? It is Tyrese Simpson, who they've got on loan from Ipswich. And I'm going to be honest, he's way too good for this level. I did wonder if Pep might have a bit of pulling power because he's got such big reputation. Maybe that does allow him to bring bigger players to the team. If we just take a look at Boston's transfer history, of course, some of these transfers happening in real life, but if we just sort elsewhere, you can see here that he made a hell of a lot of loan signings. A couple from Ipswich, Shrewsbury give him one, uh, Peterborough, Burton, Crew, and not for massive transfer fees. And I do imagine... That because Pep's you know got really good coaching attributes, when teams are looking at who to loan out their young players to, Boston do just seem more appealing. So that's kind of interesting to note. Certainly more players going on loan to Boston than I've seen in previous seasons. Of course, they have now moved into their actual stadium. How did they get on in their cup competitions, though? Did they win the FA Cup? I'm going to judge by the fact that for the second half of the season, it's just league games. They might not have. Uh, you can see here in the FA Trophy, they made it to the fifth round where they lost to FC Halifax. Uh, they got some pretty good wins. Dover are a really good team to beat, if I'm not mistaken. And Dover, National League? They are National League. They are 20th in the National League. But don't give Pep any discredit there. He's knocked out a higher division team um, in the FA Cup. Not quite so good. They lost to Henderson Town, who they play the league below. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. He's done great in the Cups, has Pep. If we just look at the Boston United tactics as well here, you can see how it looks like they're lining up. A 4-1-2-2-1 or a 4-3-3 wide, I suppose, is probably the better way to describe it. Worth noting that on a five-man bench, because Pep does have the preference to put keepers on the bench, 
He's putting a keeper on the bench, which, when you only have five players, just seems mental to me. Pep, I don't rate your decision-making, son. He's content with how things are going overall as well. He's happy with the team's recent form. I'll tell you what, I, I know that Pep, he's scared for this cup final. Taking on Kidderminster Harriers. That is a terrifying fixture, Pep. Are you going to win it? How are you going to have got on next season? Let's go forward. 2022, Boston, where are you? I think this confirms it, everyone. Pep Guardiola, football genius. Boston United have been stuck in the sixth tier of English football for 10 years. It only took Pep Guardiola to hop over to sort them out. Yes, they won 2-0 in the final against Kidderminster. They completely dominated them. Now, you might be wondering, have they stayed up? Because it's great, yeah, get promoted from the Vanarama National League North, but you have actually got to then stay up. Well, let me tell you, everyone, 19th Boston United, saved by six points. Guardiola, you little god, you little you genius. Tyree Simpson as well, just becoming Pep's best mate. On loan until the end of this season, was on loan, of course, at Boston last year. They renewed it for another year. What other transfer moves did they make under Pep? Let's have a look here. In fact, wow, they loaned a whole host of players again and they brought in a lot of players on free transfers. What was their kind of pre-season billing? 12th place. Ah, okay, Pep. Mm. You were predicted to finish 12th and you've come 19th. I mean, the board can't sack him if he is underperforming. Right now, he's not really showing any issues with like his dynamics and being unhappy. Apparently, long-term plans would rather not be manager of Barcelona. What's your other plan, mate? Uh, would not be a manager in Germ Well, don't worry, you're going to be a scout at Manchester United in 23 years' time. You can count down the days till then. But yes, he's done, he's done okay, hasn't he, so far? Let's have a quick look at his milestones. You can see here, fourth place at Boston United, the only notable achievement so far. If we look at all achievements here, you can see that Boston United in 2022, they made it to the the quarterfinals. Yeah, the quarterfinals of the FA Trophy where they were knocked out to Dover in the FA Trophy. And in the FA Cup, they got knocked out by Nuneaton, but that's not as impressive. Have you won any awards? He was shortlisted last year for the Vanarama National League North Manager of the Season. He didn't win the award, though, did Pep. I'm not sure if his heart's going to be able to keep on going after that. He must be absolutely gutted. Uh, also worth noting, despite him having a promotional wage rise, I don't think his contract's actually raised by £25. I think he's been mugged off there. Boston United got some claws in the paperwork, meaning they don't have to give him the pay rise that he's asked for. I've not been keeping a super close eye on his managing and coaching attributes. So if you've noticed any changes or indeed there's anything in this video that I kind of failed to notice, let me know it down in the comments. There will be stuff that I don't see because I only have two eyes and they're not very good at spotting things. I'm going to be honest. If we look at the tactical side of things, it looks like they are just playing the exact same system they were playing previously. In fact, if we look at their schedule here, we can insert a column for formation. We can see some of the formations that Pepper's used here, and you can see he's just sticking with his 4-3-3. It just seems like he's just using the same version of it every single time. 4-3-3 DM wide. He's, he's, not, he's not changing his system, is Pep. He's very set in his ways. He's going to play one striker, and that's going to be that. Uh, looking at players across the board, what are the average ratings like? They're not that great, are they? I mean, to be fair, only one player scoring 13 goals. And goals looking like it was just lacking a little bit. Ibrahim Asai got plenty of assists. He's on loan from Stoke. If we just look at the stages side of things in the league table, what happened with Boston? They scored 43, conceded 55, which... It's not really like they're lacking goal scoring or defensive ability. There's not one thing you can pinpoint... Simply put, they've not been good enough, and they have drawn 17 games, which is the second highest or third highest in the league. So I guess that's where the problems lie for Pep. Well, anyway, let's go forward one more year. Can he keep them up? Can he get them closer to the mid-table prediction they are predicted? Let's go find out, shall we? Stop the count! Stop the ca Stop it! What is that, Pep? All that praise that I gave him just a few minutes ago... Just get rid of that. Uh, Boston United, four wins in 46 games. They have been relegated. Pep, what are you doing, friend? What's happened, Pep? What are you, you've lost all your loan players, haven't you? Alfie Doherty is now your key player on loan from Middlesbrough, and it's all just collapsed. What, what, what was their prediction? 16th. So it actually did drop off from the previous year, but they just did worse. Pep. I don't even know what... This is not what I was expecting. I, I, I didn't expect it to go this bad. Pep, what's happened here? What are you thinking? 
You can't see a future for yourself at the club. Pep. I don't want to alarm you, mate. You're here for another 22 years. Oh, boy. <laughs> who, wants to t who wants to let him know? Um, yeah, I mean, what, what do you say? They finished bottom of the league. And they're just going to go straight back down, basically. If we look at their competitions, they were knocked out in the FA Trophy fourth round to Braintree. They lost to Stockport in the FA Trophy. Did he win any... No, he didn't win any... Of course he didn't. They finished bloody bottom. He's still playing the 4-3 DM wide. I mean, that... There comes a point here where surely he has to look at his system and go, it ain't working, and then change it. But that, that he's just too stubborn. He's just too... Pep, what have you done? Did, did you spend any money? You did actually bring in a load of players as well, which is kind of mad. I mean, maybe that's the issue. He's just signing too many players. 25 new signings. How big is the first team? It's not, it's not even that big. There's only 22 players in the first team. The under-18s isn't even that big either. I guess they're signing players on freeze and then losing them on freeze. It does look like, looking at things here, they're signing a lot of players on amateur deals where they're kind of not signed permanently. Which is a little odd if we just look at their uh, team details. Do Boston just not have a lot of money? What What's the situation when it comes to salaries? I mean, their wage spend per year is really low. I'm, I'm really confused now because they've got a new stadium. Their finances should be fine. Are your finances good? Okay. They're just not spending any money on players. Pep is not signing anyone for cash. Pep... Pep, what, what's happening here, Pep? What, what's going wrong for you? You're not signing. I need to check something here. We're, we're going to go in deep. This is about to get very meta. So I've added myself as Boston manager just to look at their finances. Their finances are fine. They have money to spend. They have a lot of wage budget to spend. £2,000 excess, £60,000 in transfer budget. But for whatever reason, Pep Guardiola is on his little high horse in his cardigan and has decided he doesn't need to spend any money. He's just going to drag the team down without spending the money that he's given because apparently he's above spending money. Four wins, Pep. Four wins. I mean, to be honest, none of this makes any sense. I have no idea why he's not spending the money at Boston. If you know why he might not be spending money, please fill me in, because I'm very puzzled. Either way, he's got Boston relegated. The board might want to sack him, but they can't. He's here for the next 22 years, which when you think about it, that's a lot of years left for him to create a narrative arc and make amends for this season, the worst season in Boston United history, an absolute disgrace of a year. He needs to salvage his reputation before he retires to become a scout at Manchester United. And, uh, well, in the next video of this kind of mini simulates experiment, we will do just that. We will see what becomes of Pep next, maybe jumping a few years at a time into the future to see, can he make amends for this absolute disaster of a season? Thank you so much for watching this video today, guys. If you would like to see a part two, drop a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments. If you've got any other ideas for videos like this one that you would like to see, I'm always open to your suggestions. Of course, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe so you can see part two as well as more videos like this one. And well, until next time, it is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.